this is the beginning. You're not supposed to put it in the back, but... No, we got a different back for it. Oh, okay. What goes in the back? This backpack? is the story of a small part of my life that at the time felt like a huge part of my life. I was once in a band, and we once played shows. The world was new to us. The journey was young. And we believed in it. I believed in my band. I believed in the scene that we were in. But little did I know that our scene was one of hundreds of scenes. Perhaps maybe thousands. And just like the rest of them, our little scene would cease to exist. Gone in the wind like many others before us and many others after us. Every person is their own world, and every person follows their own scene. Each person here is their own musical world, or should I say, their own musical bubble. Anyhow, I like to think of it that way. I wanted to make a movie about my band, but instead I found myself reminiscing about other bands too other performances, a remembrance of shows past. <laughs>
How was the show, Danny? It's really tiring, but I don't, know, I don't think the show was the most important thing of the day. Just the fact that, you know, the radio sort of helped us out, you know. Exposure was pretty much the highlight of the day. This shows are a gamble, you know. They could be horrible or they could be good. And this one was... of the night. <laughs> How you doing tonight, man? I'm doing uh, pretty good. Yeah? We kind of had like a mediocre set. So, the life of nature's son. The life of nature's son. <laughs> let's follow, let's follow, let's follow this guy. Here we are at PBJ's. Dude. Hey man, you guys are fucking awesome, dog. Brothers from another mother. Hey man, but you're better, dog. Hey, no, you're better. Homie. No, man, you're better, dog. No, 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 dude, I'm like, <laughs> let's just, is it your game? <laughs> Fraternal <laughs> twins right here. It's true. Look at that. Darby, smile. <laughs> I got the hair too. <laughs> Motherfuckers right here. They look too much alike. It's like, hey, don't. Artsy <laughs> booty.
months and then the struggle to like to make it to make some kind of money um i i asked this question to all the bands how much money have you have you um invested and how much money have you came back thousands <laughs> oh. <laughs> no over the years probably yeah I mean, over the years thousands but with this band but this band's been kind of nice because like since we've already had invested years back with all our instruments it's just kind of like we've already had it so as far as instruments and stuff it's like like this cost us a, a pretty penny but like like as far like that we're like we, just with this band because we've been getting like good shows and stuff so we get like paid well you get paid decently yeah plus i mean plus being an affiliate of csac doesn't hurt yeah. anything either yeah but we get paid decently i mean not not anywhere where you're like we can't, I'm, it's I'm not our quit job. my job. Yeah, it's not quit my so, job, dude. It's not like where I have six lions and, uh, you know. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? We have enough, we, we, have, we, have en we, basically, we like, make enough to, to, we have enough to, like, make our merchandise. And, yeah, like, that's, that's pretty, pretty much it. it. No leftover. We have, to, we, have enough to, we have enough to make merchandise and put a little gas in the car. Yeah. No, like rock and roll, early rock and roll, definitely. But for that song, um, for that song was a lot of uh, Mark Bolan influence, T Rex, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, we didn't want to hear like uh, Jack White is like uh, old. <laughs> yeah, it's not that no. old. <laughs> he's still coming out with music, so yeah, yeah. He's, I mean, he's still alive. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> they only come out if they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they're old. Oh man, well we're, we're talking to nature's son here. What are you guys' names? Uh, my name is Danny Bonilla. I'm David Von Hegedus. Okay, okay. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what do you play? Or what uh, do you guys play? I usually play drums, but I sing and play guitar in that song. And um, I'm usually on organ and guitar as well. We all kind of switch it up though. That's kind of our yeah. thing. We like writing songs. Yeah. We all how did you guys get together at such a young age? Um. Uh, we kind of met in high school. <laughs> yeah, I guess high school. And we've been well, the other two guys are brothers. Yeah, right now. so that was. What, easy. they're black guys? Literally brothers. Yeah, but, yeah so they've, they've been in, in oh music with each other for a while, of course. Yeah, and then, uh, That's a stereotype. <laughs> whatever. No. Oh, no, I mean him. But. <laughs> All right, well, so remind us, uh, where are you guys going to play uh, the next, your next couple gigs? Uh, so Not your whole notebook. <laughs> that we got to go. All right, uh, Sunday, April 2nd, Desert Days is an 11-day festival out in Palm Springs. Oh, well, see, the, so you should By be able to catch him for yeah. one of those days. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. about them a lot more like in the first couple of months I guess when it was just me and Derek but after that thank you uh after that kind of just like we don't it's not really something we think about as much anymore I mean we just listen to like different music now a lot of the same stuff but a lot of new stuff too so yeah yeah new guys at least can I ask a question uh-huh go ahead what's one of the best shows you guys had um 
Well, best one time like, we played at the Continental Room. <laughs> oh like, yeah. We like were. Well, yeah. We'll start off with the worst show. Well, not but worst. I guess none of that's the worst, huh? That might be. More of the best though. Yeah. One time we played at a Continental Room show last minute, and it was like, it was really like inappropriate bands. I mean, as far as like inappropriate for us to play with, and like that was like. I think Derek, by best, he means like the the show that like cleared people out of the room the quickest. Which was, too loud. Yeah. Which could be a problem. Tonight wasn't the first night we've had the mic kind of shut off on us at the bar. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I'm reminded that all these shows are one and the same. They are just one experience, the human experience. Maybe filling the void that may always be there. But who knows? Maybe I'm just rambling. You guys ready to rock out? But the cock's already out. about this possibly last show for Nature's Son, David? It's, uh, it's monumental. <laughs> and not only my lives, but the lives of thousands. <laughs> <laughs> thousands? Thousands, that's funny. Millions. Yes, <laughs> yeah, millions. <laughs> Here we come, Gus and Zimbabwe. This is the end. This is how it ends. After many shows, after seven years, seven years to the same place, we began a full circle. I find that after all these years and all those shows, I was never really alone. And it wasn't just about the music. It was just as much about the people. The people who shared the experience, the desire to share that moment in time. And though we are forgotten, what matters is we lived. And it's not about the amount of people or the money made. 
or how big the show. It's about that moment in time where we can say we were together. And we can share that moment in a small room in downtown or in a giant festival or on the sidewalk or even down in a swimming pool.